Hello, today I'm making some yoghurt and I'm trying to make it without the aid of double boilers, thermometers and so on and so forth. <clears throat> I've done it a few times, it seems to work well, so here goes. Um, I'm going to heat it in the microwave. So the first thing you need is a container that's microwave proof, such as this. And obviously make sure it's clean, because what we're basically doing is putting together a, a culture to grow bacteria. So as long as it's good bacteria, we're okay. Um, this is for personal use, so I'm not putting in um, meta meta sulfate or anything like that to do the cleaning. So it's just uh, make sure it's a clean vessel. Um, you need milk. I'm just using low-fat calcium-enriched milk. Um, a yogurt starter. And you just need to make sure that on the yoghurt that it's got a live um, culture in it. And I don't know if you can read what it says here. But it says cultures. And all the details. So that should do the trick. And again that's a low fat. Um, optionally, just to make it a bit richer, <clears throat> you make up some... Um, milk using milk powder which I thought in a couple of teaspoons or a couple of spoons of the milk powder and to sweeten it up I usually put in just a bit of honey as well. So the steps are to microwave the milk to a temperature um, just under boiling then to cool it off so we don't kill the culture and put the culture in and then put it into a warm place for about six hours to turn into yoghurt. Okay, now the first step is just to put the milk in. Yeah, so I put in about half a litre because that's what this container holds. I'll leave a gap at the top so I'm going to put in some um, milk powder mixture. Also going to put the yoghurt in and also um, a bit of honey. Um, so that's that ready to go into the microwave. In the microwave I usually do a two minute burst, give it a stir, one minute burst, give it a stir, another one minute burst, give it a stir. Um, I just stir it up with a fork. Um, it's best when stirring it, do it over a um, over the sink once you've taken out the microwave because the, um, uh, the milk can bubble up um, from the effect of putting the fork in. So it's just a stir. Put it back in the microwave, another stir, put it back in the microwave. On this quantity I'm doing about um, a two minute burst in my microwave, then a one minute burst, then a one minute burst. Okay, let's get on to the right, microwave. Right, the microwave, I'll set it at two minutes. Put the milk in on the table. And I've got it on high. Um, what you'll do it and for how long will depend on whether it's your 850k or a thousand watt. Um, so two minutes just to get it going, and then one minute check, another one minute check, and the four minute burst seems to do it for this amount of milk. the two minutes done. It's feeling warm. Just give it a, a quick stir. Put it back in for another minute. Right, that's the second minute. It's getting quite hot. It smells warm. Stir. I'm back in the microwave. And another minute. Right, I can now smell that nice sort of 
smell of almost boiling milk. Nice smell. And that's too hot to touch. So we'll say that's ready to go on the next process. Now having microwaved the milk, I'll just leave it there for a moment while I make up some powdered milk. Next thing is to cool this down. It normally says leave leave aside until it's cooled, uh, but a quicker method is just to transfer from jug to jug um, until it reaches a temperature where it's not going to kill off the um, and uh, the um, cultures from the the yogurt. So you want to get down to about room temperature, and the quickest way of doing that is just to. Transfer the jug. Cool down this jug. Whilst that's happening, I'll just add some honey to sweeten it up. So I like it a bit sweeter. Stir that in. I'm just using cold water just to cool the container. Another way of doing it would just be to fill the sink with cold water and put the jug in the sink. Yeah, it's just warm now, so I'm going to put in the yoghurt. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> right, there we go. All I do is, on my oven, I turn the oven knob slowly until the light just comes on to say that it's working. So just come on now, it's beneath the gradations so it's well below 100 and I'll just set the timer to 6 hours and then it's just a matter of leaving it to do its thing for 6 hours or so. Three, four, five. Oops. Here we go.